In April, I only received seven dividend payments, but each one definitely packed a punch and came from some of the highest yielding stocks in my portfolio, like Altria Group and Blue Owl Capital Corporation. And in this video, we're gonna go through each of those payments and add them all up to reveal my dividend income for the month, as well as my total income received so far in 2024. But before we get to those, I wanna hear from you. Leave me a comment below and let me know which stocks paid you a dividend this month. I'd be curious to hear if we have any of the same ones. Anyway, guys, getting into the payments, the first one that I received this month came from Coca-Cola who pay me $11.27, which was a great way to kick off the month. Coca-Cola is one of the most iconic dividend kings out there with a 61 year dividend growth streak. This is exactly what you wanna see from your investments right here. And taking a look at my Coca-Cola position over here on my dividend portfolio tracking spreadsheet, which you can start using for free. There is a link to download the spreadsheet in the description of the video. But here we can see I have almost 23 and a quarter shares of Coca-Cola at an average cost per share that is about $10 below the current share price. Price. So I'm seeing a pretty nice gain right now. I'm up 19.6% just in terms of share price and including dividends in the calculation on a total return basis, I'm up 30.6%. So overall Coca-Cola is sitting pretty. Anyway guys, moving on to payment number two. This one came from Kilroy Realty Corporation, KRC, who paid me $41.58, which brings my total so far for the month to $52.85. And like pretty much all of the REITs out there right now, KRC has just been getting the pie beaten out of it. Taking a look at the share price performance over over here on Seeking Alpha. Just in the last 30 days, KRC has seen a drop of about 6.1%. So that's pretty substantial. And if we zoom out looking at the year-to-date performance, they've seen a drop of 15.5% so far in 2024. And going back over here to the spreadsheet, looking at my KRC position, I have exactly 77 shares. And my average cost per share right now is a few dollars above the current share price. So I'm seeing a little bit of a loss. And to be exact, in terms of share price, I'm down 10.2%. So it's pretty decent loss, but on a total return, Return basis, those dividends are definitely saving me because I'm only down 2.7%. So I can certainly recover from that. It's all good. Anyway, guys, this brings us to the third payment of the month. We're sticking to the real estate sector for this one. We are talking about the monthly dividend company, Realty Income, who paid me $25.74 in April, which brings my total so far to $78.59. And Realty Income's been looking like a pretty good buy lately, guys. In the last month, they've seen a little bit of a gain. They're up 2.5% there. So starting to ascend a little bit, but so far in 2024, Realty Income is still down. They're down 7%. And over the last year, Realty Income's down 13.66%, which now looking at my position leaves me a little bit in the red with Realty Income. I have just over 100 shares of this company. And as we can see, my average cost per share is just barely above the current share price at $54.45. So I'm seeing a very tiny loss, nothing too crazy at all. I'm only down 1.5% with Realty Income, but looking at the total return, I'm still up six and a quarter percent. And I would love to buy some more realty income right now, guys, but there are like three other stocks that I'm actively adding to right now, Visa, Starbucks, and Johnson & Johnson. And it just seems like overall, there's probably too many good deals out there right now to choose from, which is a very bittersweet thing. But anyway, guys, moving on to payment number four. This one came from Blue Owl Capital Corporation, one of the highest yielding stocks in my portfolio. And this month, Blue Owl paid me $43.07, which brings the total officially across the $100 mark to $121.66. And this is actually the second month in a row I received a dividend from these guys. Last month, I got a special dividend, which they pay out on a quarterly basis. I got just over $9 from that. But anyway, guys, while many stocks out there, a few that we've seen so far today, have just been really coming down in share price, Blue Owl has actually held up really well. Not only that, but the performance overall has been pretty spectacular. In the last month, they're up 2%. So that's pretty solid. And looking at the year-to-date performance, they're up close to 8%. So a really decent climb so far in 2024. And if we zoom out once more across the last year, Blue Owl's up 20, almost 25%. And this is gonna leave my position looking really good. I have 116.4 shares of this company at an average cost of $13.49. So the current share price is more than a couple bucks above my average cost per share, which is gonna leave me with a 17.2% gain looking at the share price. And then including dividends, it's considerably higher. It's more than double that because Blue Owl is such a high yielding stock. My total return is 43.06%. So looking good. But anyway, this brings us to pay Payment number five, guys, we're sticking to the business development companies. This is Main Street Capital Corporation, which is another monthly payer in my portfolio. And this month, Main Street paid me $13.50, which brings the total so far to $135.16. And like Blue Owl Capital Corporation, Main Street has also been on fire lately. Looking at the share price performance in the last month, this company is up 5.4%, so a really nice gain in the last 30 days. And looking at the year-to-date performance, it's also impressive. They're up 13.7%. 
percent and zooming out once more over the last year they're up about 24.2 percent so looking good all across the board and my position has certainly been a beneficiary of that guys i have 56 and a quarter shares of main street at an average cost of 40 dollars and 66 cents so the current share price is over eight dollars above my average cost which is going to leave me with just about a 20 percent gain so that's looking really good and then on a total return basis i'm up 35.4 percent so looking good as well and with that guys we are now at payment number six which comes from wp carry who paid me a whopping 32 dollars and 96 cents in april which brings the total so far to 168.12 now in terms of share price wp carry has pretty much done the opposite of main street and blue owl wp carry has certainly seen its declines in the last month they actually have seen a little slight gain they're up about half a percent nothing to write home about but year to date they're still down quite a bit wp carry is down 13.4 percent and in the last year this stock is down 21%. So pretty big drops there, which if we look at my position actually makes WP carry, I think right now my worst performing position. I don't have a huge position in this company. I have 38.1 shares at an average cost of 65.74, which is clearly quite a bit above the current share price. So looking at the returns, guys, I am down 14% in terms of share price. So once again, if we just scan the rest of these here, we can see that this is my biggest loser. So down 14% in terms of share price, but on a total return basis, really not too bad. I'm only down, you know, less than 3%. So I can certainly come back from that. Anyway, moving on to this seventh and final dividend payment, guys. This one was a smoking hot one that came from Altria Group. This was actually the highest dividend payment out of the month. In April, Altria paid me $55.05. And just taking a quick look at my position here, I have 56.17 shares of Altria and an average cost that is right in line with the current share price. So I'm just barely seeing a gain from this. I'm pretty close to breaking even. I'm only up three quarters of a percent in terms of share price, but on a total return basis with those dividends, it's looking a lot better. I'm actually up over 24%. But anyway, guys, with this last payment from Altry Group, that's gonna bring my total dividend income for the month to $223.17, which is a really nice month of income. And this is also 33.7% above my dividend income from this time last year. In April, 2023, I brought in $166.87. So that's quite a big year over year jump. And looking at the annual total so far in 2024 I have brought in $866.57 which is about 28% more than my year-to-date income from 2023 from January until April of last year I only generated $676.93 so in both departments monthly and annual I'm really happy to see these year-over-year -year gains and I know that if I just keep going and just keep feeding this portfolio it's gonna look even better as time goes on but anyway guys with all of this month's payments behind us I want to switch gears and show you which companies are going to be paying me in this upcoming month here in May. And to do this, we are going to be looking at the dividend calendar tool over here on GetQuinn, which outside of my spreadsheet, I think this is hands down the best portfolio tracker out there. And if you're looking for something with more features and functionality than your standard spreadsheet, I definitely think you should check out GetQuinn. I think you'll really like it. This has one of the best looking interfaces I've ever seen, and it's a great tool for keeping track of all your portfolios, all of your holdings, and all of your dividend payments in one place. You can automatically sync everything right here within the platform so it's super easy. And the best part is you can actually use GetQuinn for free. There is a link to it in the description of the video. And if you end up making an account, shoot me a follow on there. My username is just Ryan, so it'll be pretty easy to find and I'd love to connect with you guys on the platform. Anyway guys, to go through the dividend payments for this upcoming month, we're gonna take a look at everything here on the GetQuinn app. I just have it pulled up here on my phone. Looking at the bottom there, we can see this first dividend payment will come from Lowe's, who's gonna be paying me about $18 in May. So a pretty solid payment from them, but this payment won't come until May 8th. So that entire first week, of the month, I'm not gonna get any dividend payments, which does happen sometimes, it's all good. But anyway, moving on to that second payment, this one's gonna be a whopper from Enterprise Products Partners, $58.11. And this actually, don't quote me on this, but this might actually be the highest dividend payment I'll have ever received. I don't think I've ever gotten a larger individual payment than this one right here, if that turns out to be accurate. And that's gonna be coming in on May 14th. Then on the 15th, one day later, we've got a few different dividend payments. We've got Main Street Capital Corporation for $13.50, AbbVie for $15.60, We've got Realty Income for $25.74, and we also have Procter & Gamble there for $28.23. So that's gonna be a really nice day of dividends just on the 15th. And then we're gonna close out the month with a couple more payments or a few more payments here, actually. It looks like Williams-Sonoma, Starbucks, and Apple. We've got $20.34 from Williams-Sonoma on the 24th, $30.35 from Starbucks. That'll be a really nice payment from them um, at the end of the month. And then actually this isn't in the correct order, but it looks like we have Apple there on May 18th, which is my friend Boyer's birthday, fun fact. 
sure you guys really care about that, but that's not gonna be a huge payment at all. It's gonna be $1.59. And then guys, with all of those payments combined, it looks like the total for the month is gonna be $211.49, which is not too shabby, but we can see if we look a little bit higher on the screen there, that is a bit below, just a few dollars below my average monthly dividend income of $218.22, according to the app here. So next month's income is gonna be a little bit below average, but it's all good. It all evens out when it's all said and done, so not tripping about it. So overall, even though it's a little bit below average, May is shaping up to be another really solid month of dividend income. And with that, if you're in the market for some cheap dividend stocks, then check out this next video right over here where I'm telling you about three of them, all of which look like great pickups right now as we head into the month of May. So click right over here to check them out, and I'll see you in the next one.